What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to a new video. Be sure to check out my clothing brand, Jiguichi.co. I'm selling hoodies and tees for five bucks. I'm just trying to get rid of the last uh, bit of inventory that I have. I have a few tees left, but I only have one size in the hoodies. So first come, first serve, whoever get it, and it's a 3XL. If you're a pretty big person, cop it. Five dollars, you can't beat it. So yeah, I know I had low energy in the last video, but I'm bringing it in this video, so I'm sorry about that. Before we begin, be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. I would greatly appreciate that. If you're new, subscribe and like. If you were already a subscriber, just hit the like button or leave a comment. Either or, I appreciate it. Let's begin the video. Let's go. So, with this video, I want to talk about three brands that I'm really into right now. I already purchased a few things from them. I have purchased some shirts, some shorts from one brand, and two shirts from the other brand. I already showed off one of the other brands, but I just want to give y'all a little bit more in-depth like, like review about these brands that I'm talking about right now. So, without further ado, let's begin with the first brand. So, the first brand is Hypeland. Hypeland, I've been following them for a while. I came across them. It was some YouTuber I was watching. Um, a couple of years ago and they had some stuff from Hypeland and I decided like look, and, look more into this brand and see what they're about So I had looked into and did my research. The brand is based out of um, Los Angeles and it's ran by this guy named Jordan Bentley And dude like his early 20s and he started the brand. He was about like in high school I guess probably like 16, 17 he started the brand. I've been following them ever since just learning more about the brand and what they're about That's how I know I like a brand and not just seeing like the authentic and more open about their brand and Dude is young as hell. He making major moves for himself. And that's just like a really dope thing to see just somebody young out here making a name for themselves and building their brand as they go. Uh, it's not a huge brand. It's not a small brand. It's just like, it's somewhere in the middle. Yeah, I purchased a few things from them so far already. I have purchased um, some shorts for them. This is like back, it was probably like end of the summertime. I had uh, purchased some shorts. I don't know where the hell I put them. I don't even know where they at, but I'm pretty sure I can find them somewhere in this house. But uh, yeah, the brand, I've been messing with them for a while and I like more of the original stuff more than the things that they have going on now, which is like these collaborations they're doing with these um, these animated studios. So right now they have like three collaborations. One is with um, Naruto, the other one with Hunter Hunter, and the other one with Bleach. For the past couple of months, they've been having these um, like collaborations going on. Like, I wasn't really feel like I wasn't really feeling too much of the anime stuff. It was just too much. Like, I just want some more original um, designs from this, like from this brand. But there is one um, tee that I want to get from this brand. It's an Naruto tee that they got. It's really dope, and uh, I'm gonna cop that. And I'm I'm sure I have it like a next, not the next video, probably the video afterwards. I don't know. Probably I'm gonna have it soon, but I'm gonna show it out to you all to let you all know that I got it. But um, yeah, I had cop some shorts from them, and I had cop like a windbreaker jacket. And the windbreaker jacket was too small, so I get to my bro Bam, and he appreciated. It. He liked it, so he's happy. I'm happy. Cool. But uh, yeah, I've been uh, really into this brand for a while and they sell hoodies, tees, um, shorts, uh, sweatpants, belts, so, like miniature basketball hoops you can hang up on like the um, up on your door, um, rugs. There's a rug that I want to get, but it's sold out. It's the uh, shower gun. Uh, if you watch Naruto, you know what I'm talking about. I wanted that rug, but it sold out. But oh well, I guess I can just get the next one whenever it drops. But yeah, check out Hypeland, dope brand. Again, they based out of LA. That's where all the dope brands normally come from. But I like to see something different come out of other places besides LA and New York. But again, check them out, Hypeland. So another brand that I wanna talk about is a brand named Menace. They're based out of, of course, LA. So this brand is a little bit different than Hypeland. This brand is more of about like the, the, just more about anarchy, obscurity, and things like that. And I'm like really into it. So I heard about this brand through the guy of Hypeland, Jordan. He was talking about Menace, and I guess he's friends with the uh, owner of Menace. And I started following them. I was like, they, got, they really got some dope stuff. It's just like really dark, obscure, and rebellious, and anti like whatever. That's this brand. And I really like became a fan of them. They got some new things coming out but it ain't out yet. So the only way you can see like their lookbook, I guess, will be on Instagram and I'll show you all right now if you want to check it out. But there are like two pieces that I want to get from them. It's some socks and a tee that I want to get from this brand Menace. And it's just like really dope 
and like if you think about streetwear this is what i think about i know people hate saying streetwear because like oh my little streetwear i'm like this i'm like bro you streetwear just deal with it yeah men is a dope brand out of la they on the rise too they have a lot of celebrities wearing their clothes they're not big and popular like supreme they just right there in that sweet spot and that's why i like to see most brands i like to see brands in that sweet spot where they don't have to be too popular or too like not, like unknown they just right there in that right spot where they need to be at but i'm pretty sure they want to be bigger than what they are right now but i can appreciate a brand for, like the things that they're doing and what they're pushing out as far as products because all his stuff that he's normally come out with has been like cut and sold and you're going to pay the price like some of the, like the cut and sold stuff is not cheap so you're going to be paying like a good penny for it not too much but probably like 150 dollars or more but you gotta think about the craftsmanship that go in some of these items that um, men is create, mostly in their um, pants and jackets. And most of it is just really fire to me. And I would like to cop some of their pants. Like it's like one pair of pants I wanna um, cop for them. But yeah, I appreciate a brand that take time and care into the quality of their products and make sure they deliver the best product they can to their customers. So Menace is one of the brands that's up on the rise that I really like. And you also check them out. And let's go to the next brand. All right, so the third brand that I want to talk about is Killer. Yes, I talked about them before. I showed off two tees that I had bought for them recently. So Killer is a dope ass brand that I just stumbled upon on Instagram. Ain't nothing wrong with finding brands on Instagram. I seen some of their shit. It was just fire. Like they had, there's another streetwear brand that's like based off of security, anti-establishment, anarchy, and things like that. I like that kind of stuff. And also they're based out of Arizona, not LA. Yeah, I think Phoenix, Arizona, they're based out of, I hope I'm not wrong. Let me check, hold on. Yeah, they based out of Phoenix, Arizona. Dope ass brand. Came across them on Instagram again. Um, I already bought three pieces, well, two pieces from them. And I got another two um, tees that I had ordered day four yesterday from them. He looked out for me. He had shut down the site. I'm like, yo, I want to buy these two shirts. Can I get them? I'm like, yeah, I got you. So he had sent me two links to go buy the shirts. Thank you for that. That's what I'm talking about. That's, let me tell y'all something. If you're an owner of a business, go out your way and please your customers because they're going to come back and buy again and again. And again, that's how you build brand awareness and that's how you build um, brand loyalty to your customers. Go out your way and do things for customers that normal, like big brands will never do. Trust me, these low key brands, they will go out their way to make sure you're happy and give you the best product that they can. So thank you for looking out for me and let me copy those two T's by you sending me those two links. Greatly appreciate it. And I will be talking about those. Well, I will be unboxing those uh, two T's that I have ordered from them. But anyway, they got some more stuff coming out next month. He already um, made a post on his Instagram story saying uh, they're going to do like a little a mini drop, some $13 tees. I will be copping those and I will be showing off those. And then after that, they're going to have another big drop and I will be copping whatever he dropped because I'm a fan. Like I really appreciate a, like, a owner taking pleasure and having passion for their brands and giving their customers the best they, they by their best product that they can so killer is a dope ass brand that's low key and i just see a lot of good things coming to them in the future and i will highly recommend you all follow them on instagram and any other on um, social media platforms so killer culture y'all on the rise i'm telling you y'all on the rise you got some good shit coming just keep it up and that's all i can say all right so i hope you all like the video be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. I will greatly appreciate it. I don't know how many times I can say it. It don't take but 0.5 seconds to click the like and subscribe button. Don't take that long to do. I would greatly appreciate it. I know I'm begging. I don't beg. I don't like asking for stuff, but this is something different. And I can just see something. I can just see this channel taking off and getting a little bit bigger than what it is in the future. And again, I just want y'all to be here from the beginning all the way to, I ain't saying no end, all the way to the future and wherever this takes me and takes us on this like this journey that i'm going on and i trust me i just see the future right now like what it holds for me and the things that i can do i want to make this my career i get tired of working for people and being on other people's time and schedule thank you again like comment subscribe down below casual mac out peace